The human mechanism is an adult-oriented YouTube account. Individuals under the age of 13 should not be watching without the consent of an adult. Hello G.I. Joe and 118th scale fans, this is The Human Mechanism. Halo action figures? In 118th scale? Unfrickin' believable! This new line of Halo figures comes from Wicked Cool Toys, a subsidiary of Jazzwares. This is of course to coincide with the release of Halo Infinite later this year. So right off the bat, this new line of action figures gives off a very bad first impression. I mean, all these cool new Halo toys and not a single hidden marathon symbol. Sad. So, let's get serious. My first criticism has to do with the packaging of these two packs. They seem to be selling you a whole lot of air. I mean, seriously, the packaging does not need to be this big, even for two figures. My second criticism is the back of the box. It's pretty plain. I mean, admittedly, it's a nice picture of John, but guys, come on, tell us about the characters. Honestly, I was a little apprehensive about buying these because while I was looking at these at Target, there was an abundance of these figures with their limbs popped off their ball joints while still on their packages. However, as far as I can see with these particular figures, that problem is non-existent. I'll chalk that up to being a fluke. Let's start off with the Master Chief and the Brute Chieftain 2-pack. The detailing is fair. Obviously, these Halo figures are more toyish this time around. The molded detailing is pretty good, but it's the paint applications, or lack thereof, that hurt it. John has a lot of great armor details that are let down by a lack of paint applications. If you're a customizer, your work is cut out for you. The articulation on John is, for the most part, quite good, though very stiff. Some of the joints on these new figures are ratcheted, which always makes me a little nervous, especially when we're talking about 118 scale figures. The head is on a ball joint, so you get all the articulation that typically comes with it. The arms have pretty standard articulation, with the hands able to rotate and pivot from side to side. The waist and the chest can rotate, and the legs are on ball joints. The knees are double jointed, which is always a plus. Now, this is where I run into problems with the Master Chief. The feet have excellent rotation, however when it comes to the feet pivoting up and down, they are unmovable. No matter what I tried, I cannot get those feet to pivot. Clearly, this is a quality control issue that will cause problems with posing. Fortunately, I played around with him for a little bit, and I got him into a pose that looks somewhat normal. But the stigma of the non-pivoting feet is still there. I'm pretty sure this is just a problem with my figure. However, if any of you have the same problem, feel free to post a comment. On a brighter note, Master Chief can hold his Hydra Launcher very well. BBI, take notes. If you don't want him holding it, you can always place it on his back. The Brute Chieftain pretty much has the exact same articulation, though some of it is prohibited by his armor plating. Speaking of which, his headdress can be removed. Despite this, his articulation is still very good, and allows him to hold his gravity hammer very convincingly. Now we move on to the 2-pack containing the Spartan Mark V-B and Jega Ard- Oh, frickin' Singali names. The Spartan Mark V-B has the exact same articulation as the Master Chief, minus the quality control issues. This is a very, very good figure. Of course, if you don't want the figure holding his or her shock rifle, you can always place it on the figure's back. Now we move on to Jaga. So in terms of articulation, it's pretty much the same as the other figures. I mean, as similar as it can be when it comes to a creature with such different anatomy. The differences are mostly in the legs. Unlike the other figures, there is no double joint at the knee, but that's compensated by having another joint at the ankle, due to the digitigrade design of the Singhali's legs. I think the feet might be on a ball joint, but they're so limited due to the armor that it really doesn't matter even if they are. On a similar note, the prosthetic arm is totally hindered by this energy blade. Speaking of energy weapons, Jega comes with an energy sword. As you can probably tell, it's very rubbery, but that's probably for the best. Now, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. You saw it at the beginning of this review, and you probably want my opinion on it. Let's take a look at the Warthog. Now, this is probably going to be the hot item of the line, but before we get to the vehicle, let's talk about the John figure that comes with it. The figure comes with an assault rifle. Based on this mold and the in-game footage, 343 seems to be going for a more Halo Reach style design, which is quite nice. The figure itself has absolutely none of the problems seen on the Master Chief from the 2-pack, which is excellent. 
Now, let's talk about the Warthog. This is the biggest Warthog since the one released by Jada Toys. However, I don't have that one, so here's the Halo Reach Warthog for comparison. Detailing is superb. I especially love the detailing on the suspension system, even if it's non-functioning. Rubber tires, that's always a plus. Figures fit fine enough, I guess, though you do kind of need to cram Chief into the driver's seat. The Warthog does look a little bit on the small side, but it works. The machine gun can pivot up and down, but it's very difficult to rotate on mine. Again, it appears to be a quality control issue. One gripe I have is that there are some missed opportunities. For $30, I think they could have at least given us a working winch. For reference, here's what you get for $15. Come on, guys. However, despite all of its faults, I think the Warthog is pretty cool. Overall, what are my final opinions on these sets? When it comes to the Master Chief with the Brute Chieftain, based on the quality control issues with the Master Chief, I can't recommend it based on John. If you're going to get this set, get it for the Brute Chieftain. The Mark V B with Jega is the best of the two packs I have thus far. The only thing holding it back is Jega's limited articulation and his wobbly legs. The Warthog has its problems, some of which are pretty big, however the detailing is excellent and it does make a great display piece. Chief and the Chieftain gets a seal of meh, the Mark V B with Jega gets a massive seal of approval, and the UNSC Warthog gets a regular seal of approval. See you all later. Wake me when you need me.